in Brian Wilson's case, as far as we can tell, he has everything in place. It's just that his health care directive is effectively terminated because he didn't name enough backups. He didn't name any backups. He only named his wife on his right. health care directive. So they're not filing for conservatorships like in the Britney Spears world to just have this ongoing conservatorship. They're doing it for a very specific purpose to establish an estate plan or a component of an estate plan. Right. And there are two people who are together asking to be made his conservator. And they both are people who have had a long standing business relationship with Mr. Wilson. Mr. Wilson is actually consenting to this petition, which could be important. The judge has to look at everything. What do you think the judge is going to be thinking about in deciding whether to grant this petition? I think it's interesting. I don't think it's going to be an issue necessarily in granting the petition. I think the issue is going to be more so in terminating it. As long as nobody objects, and it, it sounds like from the petition, his, his several children all agree. It's definitely interesting that the children are not involved, but he does have a blended family. Purport to know what's happened behind closed doors, especially in celebrity and his history of mental illness, how that has worked. But the fact that he has gone through a conservatorship before, had a history of being surrounded by the wrong people or being under the control of the wrong people. It'll be interesting to know if the court will eventually terminate its own oversight. Yeah. So that's bringing up, you know, long ago history, but he has had a long struggle. There was a point at which he was taken advantage of by, again, someone who was in his close inner circle as a professional. And that all resulted in a conservatorship over him or perhaps his finances. I don't know the exact history. That was quite a while ago. And then he got married and things seemed to go a lot better for him. And so he's in this situation now because his wife passed away. And that's very unfortunate. Thank you for joining us today for another episode of Absolute Trust Talk Live. If you enjoyed listening in, then don't forget to subscribe. You can find us on Apple Podcasts or wherever you may listen by searching Absolute Trust Talk. While you're there, we would also love for you to leave us a review. And then why not share your favorite episodes with family, friends, or colleagues too? You can find all of our shows and corresponding show notes by visiting AbsoluteTrustCouncil.com. You'll also find a variety of other free resources, including our ebooks, videos, blogs, presentations, and more. If you need help with your estate planning or administration, we also offer a free discovery call to help get the process started. You can find more information on booking your session by visiting absolutetrustcouncil.com slash scheduling. Don't forget to keep an eye out for our next live episode. If you join us for the broadcast, you can submit questions during the show. But if not, don't worry. You can always get in touch with us by sending a quick message to info at absolutetrustcouncil.com. Thanks again for listening. We'll see you soon.